I debated with myself for like 20 minutes on whether or not I should make a video on this because I'm like, I don't really, I ain't trying to be on YouTube crying. I ain't trying to be on YouTube looking like a crazy woman. Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries. Just wanted to come to you guys really quickly with um, just a little rant, I guess. I am really, really struggling. Oh, let's see if I can get through this video without like breaking down. I'm really, really struggling um, with my baby in school, y'all. And it's not like how people may think. I think it's just, I'm so, like, the climate that we're in, it just really puts me in a really, really bad headspace. And it's been so hard to just drop him off and not worry. It is just, he's been in school for, like, two weeks and every day. It's just bad, y'all. And today it just hit its peak. I don't even know why it affected me like that. But I dropped them off. Like, they have, like, a little drop-off line. And I dropped them off. And, you know, he gets, he's, you know, he gets out the car and he walks into the school. But today, when I dropped him off, he was walking to the school and then he stopped. And I guess it was, like, one of his friends in a car or something like that. And he turned around and he started to walk towards the car. Like, I don't know these people. I know they were dropping their kids off. I don't know these people. So I'm like... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Panicking, like screaming his name because I'm like, people take kids, these, you know, and I know that the, the staff and everything, they, they have really, really close eyes on the kids, but I think just with the whole climate and maybe I just shouldn't watch the news so much and maybe I shouldn't have a CNN app, I don't know, but I'm just like, this world is so full of hatred, it just makes it really, really hard for me to be able to just like drop him off and be cool um it's just so it's so weird because it's like every time i drop him off i'm like this can be the last time that i see him you know people drop their kids off at school and schools get shot up people put their kids on school buses and you get school bus drivers who don't really care about the kids and they just some of them not all of course you have school bus drivers that are driving buses drunk, that are driving buses without enough sleep, that are driving buses who don't care about the kids, that are driving buses with mental health issues, driving buses high on drugs, and all of that stuff. And they're putting all these kids in danger. And I just think, every time I drop him off, I'm just like, this could be it. This could be like the last time I see my baby because these school shootings are like, ridiculous and i try to i try to not let it bother me so much because i'm like you know um you can't live in fear you know but it's hard for me personally to not because i've i've always been one of those people that's like i've never been one of those people that's like um that would never happen to me like i've never been one of those people like i've always been that person that's like i totally understand the fact that Everything can happen to anybody, you know? Where So it's like you're not exempt from bad things happening to you or your family. You're not exempt from um, being included in tragedies and, and things like Like, you're not exempt. It just, it happens in life. And it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you don't want to um live in fear and be fearful but it's very hard because you get to a place where it's just like things are happening so often it's becoming like normal and it's just it's just really really scary for me and because it's like I never thought that I would have a kid like never thought I would um and I just feel like he's just, just everything, you know, like most parents feel about their kids. And I've always just kind of felt like, you know, um, why would I, you know, get blessed with such 
an amazing gift with such an amazing child. And I'm like, I always deal with that. Like, you know, when it's one of those, like, it's too good to be true type things. I'm like, I don't want nobody to take him away from me. Even when I had him, like, even when I like, when I literally like, when I delivered him, I'm in the hospital. Like I stayed in the hospital for three days. I'm in the hospital and in my head, I'm like, they're not going to let me take him home because I'm just like, how, how did I get, you know, how did I get this lucky to have this amazing child? And I know the average parent feels that way about their kid. And I just think it's just harder. It's not harder, but it's hard for me um, because I know that things happen. So, you know, you try to love on them a little harder and, you know, hug them a little tighter and things like that, just because it's like, this could be the last time. So I live like in a paralyzed fear all the way up until he gets out of school and all the way up until I pick him up from school. It's just like ridiculous. The school calls for little things like, um, we set him up for a bus schedule. And, but when I see their number on the phone, I'm all, I always like, I'm like, oh my God, what happened type thing? Because I'm just so like, I, it's almost like I'm preparing for the worst and that's such a horrible thing, but it's just like, it's like trying to brace for something that you don't know if it will happen, but it's like, if it does happen, I'll be uh, like 1% more prepared than maybe somebody who hasn't been agonizing over these things. Like, I don't know. I know my mom's gonna watch this video like, Jesus Christ. When when I talk to her, I talk about how, you know, I want him to be here and things like that. And it comes off as separation anxiety, which um I did have and I do have. But this is something else. And just the whole him, he didn't even like get to another person's car. Like he was just walking up to the car. And it was just that whole thing about him just walking up to the car. It just brought it just all of these emotions just came out and the whole time all the way back to the house i'm like bawling my eyes out this this right here this was supposed to be some i've been on youtube for a year and this is happening but you know it's been a couple of months and it is what it is i know i'm not the only parent that or the only person that worries about things like that but it's just i feel like because i overthink a lot of things it really does cloud my my everything and it, it will consume me and I try not to get into that space because it's just a bad place to be in because again this happens and but it's like you want to be you know you want to be strong for your kids and things like that but I'm just always so freaking fearful like people are crazy people have issues people have so many demons that they're fighting and people have so much hatred in them and they don't care about who they affect they don't care about the lives that they affect they selfishly do what they feel should be done and so I feel like because of that I always feel like it's not a guarantee you know that nothing's gonna happen to him and it's not a guarantee that something will, you know, it's one of those things, but I, I, it's hard for me to try to find a balance, like a way to, um, focus on the positive and not so much on the negative things. You know, he goes to a fantastic school, great teachers, great staff. They are very diligent. They stay outside with the kids. They keep their eyes on all of the kids, but you know, it's always like, nobody's going to watch my kid better than me. Nobody's going to do this better than me type thing and it's just I have to get out of that because it's like he in kindergarten y'all and he got a lot more school to go like a lot more school I think if I can just kind of like get over this thing this feeling of like waiting for I guess in my head at times it feels like like the inevitable because it's school shootings have been happening so often that it's become people are becoming desensitized to it it's just becoming like ill like if somebody says like oh it's supposed to rain today it's like well it was raining all this week type thing so that you just become 
people are becoming used to it. And I feel like because people are becoming used to it, it could possibly be something that becomes a norm because it's just like, well, this is just something that happens in schools. And I just couldn't imagine. It's just so, it's such a paralyzing feeling and really, really hard to deal with. I debated with myself for like 20 minutes on whether or not I should make a video on this because I'm like, I don't really, I ain't trying to be on YouTube crying. I ain't trying to be on YouTube looking like a crazy woman. But even just doing this video, like I'm feeling better just being able to say it out loud. Um, Everybody who I've, you know, when I talk about it, I kind of make it seem like it's a, oh, you know, that's my baby and I want my baby to stay at home with me and things like that. And that's not really the case. It's like, of course, I love his company, um, but it's more or less that when I drop him off, it's like, is this the last time or is tomorrow going to be the last time or is the next day going to be the last time or is the next day going to, and you know, it's just one of those things that is just like, I can't, I can't shake it off, y'all. Can't shake it off. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. And it's such a scary feeling. It's such a helpless feeling. And it's just... It's just bad, y'all. It's bad. It's bad. I'm already a highly emotional person. You guys will learn that about me as I continue to make videos. Um, But when it comes to my son it is worse you know I'm always you know strong for him in his face and things like that but there are a lot of things that I worry about with him like for him just I want him to be safe I want him to be happy I want him to be healthy but I also want him to be around other people who are the same way and that's you can't do that you can't have that because Everybody goes through their own things. Everybody can put a big smile on, but behind they feel like this, you know? Everybody can do that. Everybody has that ability to not show things that they don't want people to see. And so I'm thinking about starting like maybe like meditating in the morning or meditating once I um, drop him off just to kind of get me in a better headspace because these last like these last two weeks y'all some days it's cool some days it is okay but the majority of the days I am very panicky just a ball of just tears the day can't go by quick enough the hours can't go by fast enough before I get to get him back to me because I'm just like when he's with me I'm like I know you're safe because I can see you and it's like when you're at school it's like you just you just you never know and nobody ever knows and you never will know it's just one of those things where it's just like you just have to hope and pray that everything will be okay it's just a it's a bad mental uh, space to be in because it's a legit mind frame to be in. Like, it's it's understandable to have these fears as a parent or as a teacher or as anybody who works in the school settings, janitors, everybody is at risk, you know? So I know that these are fears that everybody has thought about they might not dwell on them as much as i have but if you guys want to leave some suggestions in the comment box if you guys have stories about your kids going to school um i would love to like hear them and how you like overcame those like maybe anxieties or any type of adverse feelings that you might have had about your kid going to school like like I said this goes so far beyond um mere like separation anxiety it goes so far beyond 
Um, I want him to stay home with me. It's it's really like I fear for his safety. I, I fear for his safety, and he goes to a super safe school. But it's like when people want to do stuff, people are gonna do it. It doesn't matter how safe anything is if somebody wants to do something they're going to do it and so it's not to say like because i don't want anybody to think like oh well, you know he goes to a school like the school is super safe the staff is great the teachers when i tell you they stand outside with the kids they put the kids in the cars themselves like every day when i pick him up his kindergarten teacher puts him in the car Every day, they stand outside with them, they hold their hands, they don't let them kids go anywhere without knowing that they're getting in the car with the person they're supposed to be getting in the car with. But even with all of that safety, it's still that whole, like, people, it's a lot of sick people in the world. And even with all of that safety, it's still like, uh, if people want to do something, people are going to do it. And it just still puts me in a place of just sheer fear it's not i want my baby home with me because i want to hold them and kiss on them and all of that stuff it's fear like it's legit fear y'all like fear and i know i'm not the only person who has felt this i know i'm not the only person who has thought about this because as humans we do a whole lot of stuff the same. We think about a whole lot of things. Um, and so I know I'm not the only one. If anybody had like, if anybody has like any like tips or anything that you want to leave, like things that you did to kind of like de-stress. Um, if you have gone through any of these emotions that I'm going through, like he want, and, and he doesn't help the situation at all because he's a big boy and so i was the first week of school i would walk him up to the school i would drop him off i would make sure he went in the class and then he's like i want to walk into school by myself and i'm like no <laughs> no she she wasn't ready she wasn't ready okay because I, I don't want to hold them back and i don't so i'm like okay you know you want me to drop you off you want to walk in school by yourself okay well i'll let you walk in school by yourself so this is the first week that he walked into school by himself and i'm very proud of him like he's such a you know he's just growing up just a big boy and i want him to be that way and i want him to continue to be brave and and not have those fears but it's like as a parent it's hard as a parent to not have those fears, you know. He wants to ride the school bus. And he's like, I want to get on the school bus. And I'm like... Yeah. Like, listen. I'm just trying to wrap myself around being okay. Being, like, being able to drop you off from school and not having a breakdown. And now you want to ride the school bus. It's like, it is something different. Every week, you are literally breaking my heart because he is growing up you guys and it sucks for me but i'm not going to let my fears um stop him from doing anything i'm still gonna drop him off like he wants to be dropped off i'm still gonna let him walk into the school um i'm working on the school bus thing y'all i'm hoping like within the next week or so i'll be able to you know put him on a school bus and be cool with him being on a school bus because the school bus is like a whole other issue it's it's just and i feel like with the school bus that's going to be just some added extra stress for me because now i'm like did he get to school and now it's like i won't even like it's it's i of course if he didn't come to school i would know the school would call but it's just all it's just i feel like it's always going to be something and uh, it's not like I'm trying to find reasons to feel this way. It's just legit. This is just how I feel. This was a fear that I had from the time he was four until now. Because it's like I knew it was coming. He went to daycare. And daycare, I had none of these fears. None of these fears for daycare. But school, 
I have a lot of stuff. It's a lot. It's a lot of fears, you guys. It's a lot of emotions going on for me. And this issue is for the birds. It's for the birds, y'all. So if anybody is out there that feels the way that I feel or have felt the way that I'm feeling, I know it's going to get better. I know it's going to get easier and it's going to get easier and better for you as well. This is not going to be a, a permanent place. It's not going to be a permanent feeling that I'm dealing with. I know that this is um something that's going to get better the longer, you know, he's in school. It's very new for me. He went to daycare, so, you know, it's not really like a, it's a transition for him, but it's not like a separation type transition for him because he was already used to going to daycare. But I know that for me, this is something that's going to get easier. I just think because it's so fresh that I'm still kind of like adjusting and it's just, it's a little bit more difficult than I would have expected it to be. I'm going to be cool. And if anybody's going through this, you guys are going to be cool too. We're going to be great. We're going to get through it. These feelings will not last because you cannot live your life in fear. You can't live your life thinking about the what ifs and things like that. It will ruin you. I feel much, much better being able to actually like get it out and talk about it because a lot of times you want to talk to people, you want to talk to certain people about certain things, but you don't really know if they'll really like understand it. Um, talking to you guys is easier for me because I don't know, it just is. I guess because I know that when the video posts, it gets to go out and be seen by so many people. I'm like, I know I have a higher possibility of it hitting somebody who actually can relate to what I'm going through. And so I guess that kind of makes it easier to post it, to post um on YouTube, uh, like when I'm going through things like that, because, or things like this, because I do know that I know I'm not the only one because I just know I'm not the only one. Humans, we share a lot of similarities, a lot of similarities, um, especially when it comes to emotions. And if you don't believe me, go down your Facebook feed and look at how many memes that you like and love because you can relate to them as well as the person who posted them. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, you guys. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell so you guys can um, stay tuned for everything that I have coming up. Um, and as always, that's going to be it for me, Candace the Aries. And thank you guys for listening to me. And always remember to enjoy the journey.